Hello, this is Pastor Mutchler. I have some things to share with you. As you know, our state is in shutdown for gatherings over 250 people. Our church is larger than that. I've just come from a staff meeting where we've talked about what we're going to do in light of all this unusual circumstances with the coronavirus. I want you to know that our first and primary interest is the health of our people. We have seniors, we have people who have gone through medical treatments and have low immunities, and of course we have a lot of children. We want to protect our people. As hard it is for us to say, what we've decided to do is go with live stream for all of our services. This Sunday, there will be no gathering. We're asking everyone to go online and watch the service. Everything we've had planned, we've changed. Trying times comes for difficult decisions and different circumstances, and so we make these changes. I'm going to be sharing with you from the Word of God Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, and we will keep you informed with any updates about what's going on with the virus, with our church, with the state. Some of that you will see on TV as far as the state, but we will keep you informed as well. I'm going to be sharing something I did many years ago on biblical proofs of the resurrection. I so enjoyed that years ago. I'm going to be going through that again. I think it will be a great blessing to all of us. During these times of not meeting together, can I ask you this? Pray for our people. Pray for their health and protection. In fact, pray for the people around the world with this. We don't want anyone to die, even people that we don't know. Secondly, pray for our church. Pray that God's hand of blessing would be upon us even though we're not meeting together. Thirdly, I'd ask you to pray for our finances during this as well. As you can imagine, most of us assemble together and we give to the work of God. Now, our gatherings will cease, our bills will not. And so if you can help us by giving online, and if God touches your heart or you had the ability to do something special, we could use that. But needless to say, our faith is in the Lord and we're confident that he'll meet every need. He always has, he always will. I hope you understand that while we're not gathering, we are praying for you. Our staff loves our people, and we love you, and we're praying for you, and we want you to be safe and well. And we look forward to the day when all of this is behind us and we can gather again together in God's house. Until then, be in prayer, and God bless you. We love you.